So, I decided to make this video in light of recent events with Kate Spade and that one really famous food guy that I never heard of until today uh, committing suicide. I wanted to make a video talking about mental health and giving a few tips for improving your own personal mental health and uh, just making yourself have a more fulfilled life and a happier life just slowly one day at a time. Uh, some background of this, uh, I've actually had a friend kill himself, and I've actually tried to take my own life too in middle school. I was really emo, but <laughs> thank God I was too pussy to do it, but I would have been even more of a pussy if I did do it. Yeah, it's unpopular opinion, because there's just so much to live for in life, and if you kill yourself, it's a very selfish thing if you think about it. Think about all the people that actually do care about you, at least your parents or your brothers and sisters. Now they have to go through their entire life or your friends, right, through your entire life thinking about you and only you because you committed such an act and it scarred them and it, it hurts them and it's difficult for them to carry on with their own personal life. I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but that's just, I'm going to keep it real with you because that's exactly what happens. Now, suicide is no laughing matter. It's not a joke. Mental health is not a joke either. It's awful when people commit suicide, obviously. I'm not saying that you're a pussy if you kill yourself, but I am saying that it does have bigger repercussions than more people think about. So if you think about that, I know that's what I thought about and that's what helped me not commit the act, right? Because that's what I thought about uh, during the act and shortly after the act and I've considered, I've consistently thought about that personally as well. But let me give you guys five tips here of just things you can do to improve your general health so you feel less like shit because these are the things that I did to get myself out of depression and to really just really change my life around and I actually do follow these to this day like some of these to this day because it really helps that much so the first thing is we live in an era where there's you know social media is a really big thing you can see what other people are doing you can see how successful other people are and if you're already predisposed to depression or if you're slightly depressed already you're gonna feel even more like shit when you see these people being successful and you're not so that's really really bad so try avoiding social media I had this routine going where for the first hour of my day, I didn't even look at my phone, which was so healthy. It helped me out so, so much. If you can't do that, if you need to look at your phone, delete the social media apps off of your phone. I literally deleted Facebook for such a long time and people thought I dropped off because I just, you know, wasn't on Facebook. I wasn't talking to anybody. I went, I went ghost mode and that's totally okay. You don't need to be on social media all the time. I know it's really weird. You can't live without your phone for a single day, but try it. Turn, like, turn off social media for a day and you will notice right away that you feel better because of it. Because you also will have more time to do other stuff that you like, you know? You waste so much time on social media. It's disgusting. And that's, an, that's a really good lead into the next one is spend at least an hour a day doing something you like. And it doesn't have to be quote-unquote useful. It doesn't have to be beneficial. You don't have to be grinding for towards your career or, or doing schoolwork or whatever. You could be playing video games, right? Video games, on all in all, as much as we gamers like to take them seriously, they don't do anything, really. Like, they don't help you accomplish a goal. They do teach you a lot of stuff, though. They do help with a lot of skills, you know, dexterity, reasoning, puzzle-solving skills. They do help with that, don't get me wrong. But for the most part, they they help you kill time, really. They help you kill time. And they're really, really fun, at least for me and at least for everyone watching this video because we're all gamers, right? So if that's something that, if that's not the only thing that you like to do, maybe you like dancing, maybe you like singing, then do that. Try and do that as often as you can because I know like life can get really hard and really busy sometimes and we forget to do that, but try not to because it's super important to take care of yourself and love yourself and do that kind of stuff. A third one, a third tip that I started doing is you have to avoid victimizing yourself. Nowadays, you know, there's this uh, dialogue that goes like, oh, you're a victim. Like, in some sort of way, you are a victim of something, right? There's something, some sort of force. Society is going against you, right? Society doesn't want you to win. And that's the case. Fuck society, right? Like, do what you want to do. Focus on yourself, right? So... People are born in different situations. Some people are born with both parents. Some people are born to a single parent. Some people are dropped off at foster care as a baby and don't know their real parents. Okay, everybody has different cars that they are dealt at the beginning of their life. And it's very hard sometimes for people to catch up to others who have better cards. But what are you going to do? Are you literally just going to stick your head in the sand like an ostrich? Which actually, they don't do that, by the way. 
uh, are you you're just gonna you're just gonna lie over and die? That's what people who commit suicide do, but you really shouldn't do that because there's always a better way out. There's always a positive side to every negative. And you just have to try harder, which sucks, but at the end, it's going to make you an even better person because you did something that other people did not do, and you overcame obstacles that other people never had to. So in the long run, it's actually going to make you better than those people. A lot of people who commit suicide have this short-term mentality that things are not going to get better, but they always do get better if you make those proactive movements in order to make it better. First-hand experience right here, okay? I don't want to hear any fucking bullshit. Now, I understand that people are wired differently. Some people have better willpower than others. I understand that. But there is always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And it hasn't just been me. I've been friends with other people who have committed, not committed suicide, attempted to commit suicide. And they have done it too. And they all agree with the way I, because we talked about this so many times. And I just decided to finally say something about it because I feel like the background here is fitting. Another thing you can do is you can count your blessings every morning. Whether you count in your head or you write them in a journal. I'd actually recommend writing them in a journal. And start with 10, right? Wake up tomorrow morning, write 10 of your blessings because you definitely have more blessings than negatives in your life. I guarantee it. Write 10 blessings uh, tomorrow, then write another 10 blessings the next day and just see how many you can come up with. Or if you don't want to write in a journal, which I recommend, you can do the other one, which is a bit quicker. Count 50 blessings in your head. Just think about it. Like, oh, I have both parents that are not divorced. Oh, I can go to school in a first world country. Oh, I have the internet in my household, blah, blah, blah. There's so many that you can come up with. It's so, so easy. And another one is eat healthier foods, exercise, right? Eating healthier foods, improving your diet will actually increase the amount of serotonin in your system. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to depression. And so if you increase the levels of serotonin, that could definitely help otherwise. Plus, think about it. Like when you eat a bunch of junk food, you just feel like shit. You feel like a fat, lazy slop. But if you're eating your fruits and veggies, if you're working out, if you're staying healthy, if you're staying active, you are, one, you're busy and you don't even think about the sad things that you normally would think about if you were, had nothing to do and you would get into your depressive slumps and two you would just feel better you would feel so energetic you'd feel productive and countering that like we said in the beginning how social media is always fighting against you and being like yo look look at all these other awesome people that are doing way better things than you are loser it fights against that because you are actually doing something with your life and those are five tips but if all else fails if you really just are in a rut and you just feel like there's no way out and there's nothing you can do, there is something you can do. You can call the Suicide Prevention Hotline 1-800-273-8255, link in the description. And you can also, for the long term, you can start seeing a therapist. They do help. They will help you out, get you out of a rut. No one should ever commit suicide. It is a very stupid thing to do, quite frankly. There are ways out and things will always get better. I don't care if I sound insensitive because that's not who I am. I am real with you all the fucking time. And I am being as real as possible right now because I have lived through this and I have lived through the aftermath and I have experienced and witnessed it from other people's perspectives as well. If you do these five tips, you will have such an easy time getting through life or at least an easier of a time than if you were just sulking in your room all day thinking about how miserable life is because things will always get better and people do care about you. Whether you think they do or not, people do care about you and they will remember you if you do decide to commit that heinous act. But they won't remember you only as the person who killed himself, right? They will miss you. You don't want them to miss you when you're already gone because when you're gone... It's going to look like a black screen. And if you're religious, you're not going to go to heaven if you kill yourself. I'm pretty sure. I didn't read the Bible, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So it's a lose, 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 lose situation all across the board. Don't ever do it. Okay? Go talk to your mom. Go talk to your dad. Go talk to your friends. Go talk to your loved ones. Go talk to your therapist and call the suicide prevention hotline. And you will realize how many people actually care about you and your existence in this world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope I help somebody with this video. Or maybe if you know somebody who's going through something like this, please share this video with them, especially if they're a fan of Paragon, because maybe they'll just enjoy the gameplay as I talk about this. It's super duper duper important. Nobody should have to go through this. It is very, very awful. So please share this with as many people as you can and take what I said and take my advice seriously because it works. 
Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure you have a wonderful day.